right, we've got a couple packages here. One from Z Battery Solutions and one from MaxGo, I think is how you pronounce it. I did open the box, but let's unpack these bad boys. So first the MaxGo. Got a nice little wiring diagram for its BMS. Really straight forward, quite simple. And a freaking crap ton of bubble wrap. like a bag with everything in it so let's see what's in it with the maxco charge only bms feels real solid well that's good and then we've got the temperature sensor and all of the balance leads which in case you're wondering the balance leads that the Masco use and the ZBMS use are identical they're the same PH2 balance connectors that's everything for that Let's see what's in the box with the ZBMS the balance leads like I said they're identical got some cool swag little 3d printed protector Ooh, a protector nice sticker also a wiring guide all typed out. The best part, the BMS itself. So there they are side by side. The uh, Maxco has got XT60s attached instead of XT30s, which is a bit overkill, but easy enough to desolder and put something smaller on there. Or you might want to make these bigger. I don't know, depending on which way you want to go. But size wise, they're almost identical. And uh, they both feel really well built. The circuits are not identical like I thought they were originally. Placements of things, the LED lights are slightly off different spots. So while they are both inspired, similar design, they are not identical. All right, plugged it in, got everything wired up, nothing blew up. It's an old pint battery I had lying around. Excuse the messy wiring, it's just for a test. Uh, voltage is moving up, so that's a good sign. The light on the chargers on so it is charging uh, there's no lights on the BMS because those don't come on until it gets to full charge and then the LEDs come on showing which cells are bleeding to balance I believe that's how it works um, you have to have the temperature sensor connected for the BMS to work in comparison to the Z BMS they're almost identical in size um, either should easily fit into a one wheel battery box yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it is working, and it looks like it is. So we'll watch the voltage, and once it gets to full charge, we'll see if it's bleeding off and how well it balances. All right, I got a couple of lights lit up here on the MaxGo BMS. Oh, there's another one just popped on. You can see, so that means basically those cells have reached full charge, and now... The BMS itself is bleeding off the excessive voltage. So it looks like that's it. That's the whole battery pack because it was only 15S. And so those cells are now maximally charged at supposedly 4.2 per cell. We're about to check that. Cell one, treating 4.22, that's good. And then cell two, treating 4.23 yep so all the cells are reading right at 4.2 basically the overall battery is 63.5 so probably really more like 63 but looks like everything's working properly so at this point you would unplug let's see now everything's fully charged these are still bleeding off to bring it down to 4.2 so we wait just a minute those should start turning off. Okay, there we go. Looks like all the cells have officially balanced. The lights have gone off. So they should read 4.2 per cell. 4.1. So within tolerances, obviously, this. 4.1, hey, nice. 4.1, all right. 4.1. 
It's actually probably 4.2, it's just this voltmeter is not the most accurate. 4.1, ba da ba 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 Cool. 62.9. Yep. So, there again, within tolerances of this voltmeter. Beautiful. All right, well, it works good. Remains to be seen durability once we put it in an actual one wheel and beat the crap out of it, but yeah. Maxco BMS, pretty good so far. It works. Same size as the Z BMS. So, that's good. Cool.